All right, Ernie LaRossa here for HopkinsSports.com with Johns Hopkins football coach Jim Margraff. Jim, just with the doctor ordered a, a big opening uh, season opening victory for you. Yeah, you're never sure what the first game's going to bring. So uh, I, was, I was happy that our guys played well. Uh, we secured the football pretty well, made some big plays, and, uh, and came up big defensively. So th there was a lot of good. Uh, we had some real questions in the, in the kicking game coming in. We had a few injuries last week, a brand-new long snapper. So uh, it worked out as well as it could for the first game of the year. Going into the game, we talked a lot about turnovers, and you said going in, you want to control the football with, a, with the running game and then not turn it over, and, and that's exactly what happened. We forced three, got three interceptions today. Yeah, and, and it was a very warm day. We played two offensive lines. We held on to the football. I think we put a lot of pressure on them in that respect, and our defense came up with some turnovers. So we had the ball a lot. I think we wore them down a little bit. I think it's, it's for them, it's a tough away game when it's almost 100 degrees in the turf, but uh, you know, I was proud of our guys' effort. So two things on offense to point out. One, the play of senior Braden uh, Anderson making his first career start today. Yeah, that's always difficult. There's always some, some jitters, and uh, you know, Braden did some good and bad early, but for the most part, you know, he really made some good decisions. Uh, you know, managed the game very well, made some smart plays, and uh, he's only going to improve. You talked about the heat down here, having the luxury of three uh, running backs that you're comfortable with it really paid off today. All three guys really went in and produced. That was the plan coming in offensively, to play a lot of guys, hopefully hold on to the football. One of the reasons we onside kicked early just to see if we can, you know, again, maximize the number of plays in the first half uh, and, you, you know, utilize our, our depth to see if we could wear them down a little bit. So, you know, the, all three backs perform well. Uh, I think the offense in general, uh, again, it's a lot of good, uh, a lot of improvement to be made. Last question, early in the game, you know, it was, it was a little back and forth there, and, and a guy on defense that really stood out, you know, to me watching was number 11, Brady Watts. Can you talk about his effort today? Yeah, I thought Brady was outstanding. Almost come with a couple of tremendous plays. But, gosh, he looked a little bit faster than everyone else in the field for a little bit. So, you know, I think our guys got their legs back, had a good, uh, a good summer. You know, Brady's been a leader all the way through, but I hope he's ready for a special year this year. All right, one more question. Actually, looking ahead to next week, we jump right into conference play on the road at Susquehanna, a team that's played us, you know, pretty tough the last few years, some very competitive games here and up there. Yeah, I thought they've done a great job, uh, you know, attacking us offensively and, and how they've defended us. They've run into some real injury problems the last several years. So our guys understand that. Uh, they understand, you know, this game in a lot of ways is a preseason game. It, it, you know, the only thing that counts right now is our conference schedule. So I'm sure we'll be uh, focused, but uh, our guys know that's going to be a tough opponent.